the new Maserati Super Sports car, a halo product for sure but also a massive statement of intent. We fully endorse Maserati's stubborn refusal to become a footnote in the automotive annals. Like several other Italian names, and a few British ones for that matter, commercial Realpolitik has come close to permanently shuttering what was once a name to conjure with, one that substantially predates Ferrari and Lamborghini and is arguably better bred than its higher profile neighbors, depending on who you ask. Some cynics have suggested that Maserati should be quietly pensioned off so we can enjoy the likes of the original Ghibli, Mexico, and TG's personal favorite, the Alamano bodied 5000 GT, in peace. Well the MC20 gives that idea the bird. Historically, Maserati is more of a GT concern and has a greater fealty to the eternally romantic if hopelessly outmoded concept of heading across Europe by car, companion and luggage on board for the ride. The MC20 is certainly a more appealing way of getting to Chianti Shire than via Ryanair, not to mention a seriously full-blooded supercar proposition. Although the insanely beautiful mid-50s A6 GCS is cited by group design director Klaus Bussi as an influence, Maserati has really only been here once before, with 2004's magnificent MC12. We might grant you Bora and Kamsin, at a push. That proved itself to be in possession of serious motor racing chops, triumphing in the FIA GT Championship in 2005 and 06. Of course, it was was also essentially a remixed Ferrari Enzo, from a period when the old foes temporarily found themselves under the same roof. Now Maserati has autonomy, as one of approximately 63 different brands under the Stellantis banner, and the MC20 is 100% a Maserati. There's nothing in here that you'll find elsewhere in the empire, even if it does somewhat resemble a scaled-up Alfa Romeo 4C. That was very pretty and pretty underwhelming, the MC20 is a thing to savor, whether in the quasi-marble effect Bianco or Discolor, Blue Infinito or Grigio Mistero. Literally everything sounds better in Italian, and we're pretty sure there is no word for beige. The snouty, pouty nose is a highlight, as is the Lexan rear window whose intakes form the trident motif.